Several months ago when GM introduced its Ultium battery to compete with uh, Tesla's uh, million mile battery, some of us were wondering uh, about the details and the specifics of the battery and how it would compete with Tesla. So uh, the Ultium battery is based on new technology and uh, quote flexible modular platform seeking to provide many advantages in the realm of electric vehicle technology. In this report I'm going to talk about how the GM's Ultium battery compares to a Tesla battery. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armen Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And also please like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who helped to bring these stories to you as and we would greatly appreciate uh, you sharing them in social media. That would be great help. So friends, amidst an exponential rise in electric vehicle popularity, GM has released its plans for new battery technology. The Ultium battery is based on new technology and a new flexible modular platform seeking to provide many advantages in the realm of electric vehicle technology. The company has been engineering novel EV futures with its partner LG Chem. Considering GM's impact on the market, it could really create significant competition between the automaker and Tesla. How? We're going to find out in this uh, report. Please stay with us. Some of the highlights of GM's new technology include modular cells and a low cost of less than $100 per kilowatt hour. This is the parity between the electric and gas cars. So uh, the highlights of GM's new technology um, is one of them is the low cost of less than $100 per kilowatt hour. This platform is set to make an appearance in various vehicles including the Chevrolet Bolt EV, electric Hummer and Cadillac Lyric SUV which are upcoming. Here is some more information about GM's new proprietary technology and how it will compare to a Tesla battery. Now research and development. GM plans to implement cost improvements, flexibility, capital efficiency and complexity reduction in their novel EV module. Our team accepted the challenge to transform product development at GM and position our company for an all-electric future, says uh, GM CEO Mary Barra. The automaker also stands to profit significantly by licensing its battery technology to other companies. Thanks to a collaboration with LG Chem, GM has devised a plan to keep the, its battery cells under $100 kilowatt hour. Tesla, who partners primarily with Panasonic for battery production, has seen also an expenditure decrease to $127 per kilowatt hour from $230 per kilowatt hour. But the goal is to bring the cost of the battery below $100 uh, dollars, uh, per kilowatt hour. And we will find out if Tesla can achieve this uh, by when, when the battery day comes on September 22nd. Amidst the efficiency and cost-driven desire to improve cell chemistry, both companies, GM and Tesla, have addressed the reduction of cobalt. The element cobalt drives cost higher along with, concrete, uh, with concerns of a potential cobalt shortage in the future. So the companies need to find out different ways of making battery chemistry. Tesla has indicated plans to implement cobalt-free batteries through the use of LFP, lithium iron phosphate packs. GM's Ultium reduces cobalt by 70% using proprietary NMCA chemistry, battery chemistry. Various sizes of Ultium batteries are in development from 50 to 200 kilowatt hour. According to GM, vehicles fitted with these batteries could have a range at or above 400 miles on a single charge. They will use 400 volt battery packs in cars and 800 volt in trucks with 200 kilowatt and 300 kilowatt faster fast charging respectively. Even with the array of Tesla models available, GM will most likely be able to hold its own in the electric vehicle market. Each Tesla has optional packages with varying capacities, typically offering a performance version and a long-range option. The long-range plus version of the Model S claiming 402 miles on a single charge. This is based on a 100 kilowatt hour battery and remains the largest range of any production Tesla. 
the new vehicles such as the Model Y long range all wheel drive offer a 316 mile range. Tesla has a supercharger network of over 7,600 stations in North America as of January 2020. For Chevrolet Bolt owners, GM has created the Energy Assist feature which displays the location of over 40,000 compatible charging stations in the United States. The automaker will triple the amount of charging stations available for employees by adding 3,500 stations at their various facilities. Now, the sec second comparison is structural integrity. Automotive battery packs typically consist of cylindrical pouch or, uh, pouch or prismatic style cell configurations. Cylindrical cells are popular due to the ease of production. One of the things that makes the Ultium battery unique is pouch style cells that allow them to be configured in a vertical or horizontal layout. This can provide versatile possibilities for different applications and achieve a much greater packaging efficiency than other arrangements. Tesla batteries consist of vertically arranged cylindrical cells. According to measures of core efficiency, Tesla's batteries provide 42% more efficiency per kilowatt hour than other electric vehicles. Although it is difficult to compare the Ultium batteries solely on primarily numbers, there is no question that GM will be continuously making improvements to their battery technology. GM has designed the Ultium platform and motors to be compatible with front wheel, Rail wheel, rear, um, rear wheel and all-wheel drive configurations. The company has announced multiple all-electric vehicles that will soon be released, including the 2020 Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle and Cadillac Lyric, a luxury SUV. Hands-free driving in the form of GM's Super Cruise technology will be also integrated in the new, in the new Bolt as well. According to the automaker, an Ultium-powered GMC Hummer electric vehicle is scheduled for release on May 20 of 2021. GM has devoted $2.2 billion to the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant, which will be the first General Motors plant 100% committed to electric vehicle manufacturing. Considering the sheer quantity of electric vehicles and companies fully devoted to all electric production, GM will certainly face comparison to other technologies. Consumers will likely jump on the chance to have an electric GM vehicle given their status as one of the most legendary auto companies in America. Market dynamics may change significantly, of course, in response to the Ultium release amidst the rising popularity of Tesla's battery technology. By the way, this morning I saw in the media how this uh, new CEO willingly admits that Tesla is two years ahead of the industry in some critical areas of building electric vehicles. Marcus Dusman, Audi's new CEO, has been focusing on electric vehicles and he is taking inspiration from market leader Tesla. The CEO recently said that he believes Tesla has a two year on the rest of the industry via Reuters saying, Currently, Tesla has larger batteries because their cars are built around the batteries. Tesla um, is two years ahead in terms of computing and software architecture and in autonomous driving as well. Now, speaking of Tesla batteries, yesterday I Talk News reported and we learned that Tesla will build completely new and smaller batteries at Giga Berlin. Um, the electric car batteries that Tesla wants to produce in Grünheide at Giga Berlin are said to outshine all previous car batteries and we will know more about the details at the Tesla battery day in September. So I don't know what this comparison will mean by September because Tesla is moving toward to completely new batteries. There is a completely new technology behind the power storage, said Minister of Economics Jörg Steinbach on Monday. He is the Minister of Economics of Brandenburg, where Tesla is built 
building the Giga Berlin factory. The new batteries, he said, are smaller and thanks to their higher energy density allow for greater range, the minister said. Tesla plans to provide details on its battery in the United States at the end of September during the battery day. On Friday, Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced on Twitter that the company wanted to build not only its Model 3 and Model Y, but also electric car batteries on its 300 hectare site in Grünheide. Minister Steinbach now revealed further details about the Tesla's plans. According to this, battery production should become part of the second stage of expansion of Giga Berlin. This means that it is not part of the factory plans that are currently available to the public and the state environment agency is already reviewing for approval. Tesla has to submit new approval documents for the apparent planned expansion of the factory where he will build where it will build the uh, new battery cells. But according to Steinbach, whether a second application for pollution control is necessary depends on the pollutants used in battery production by Tesla at Grünheide. The minister did not know when the battery production in Grünheide could start. He also kept a low profile on the question of how many jobs could be created at the production of electricity uh, at Tesla's battery storage company in, in, in Grünheide. But in the meantime, uh, so uh, we have the Ultium battery with a lot of advancement and we have Tesla batteries and Tesla's upcoming new batteries. We just have to wait to see what GM further announced about Ultium battery, its specs, and what Tesla will announce on uh, about its new batteries uh, during the battery day on September 22nd. What are your thoughts, friends? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's continue the discussion there. In the meantime, this is Arvind Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Look around if you like Tesla stories, if you would like to know more about Tesla factories and their building process please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story and i'll see you in our next report i would greatly appreciate if you'd also like this video to show your appreciation to the people who have helped me to bring them to you as well as sharing this video reports on your social media that greatly helps us god bless you take good care of each other and i'll see you soon